I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So cold. I don't know. It could cool down a little bit more. I'm, I'm sitting here sweating. Yeah, it's 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 nice outside. I think it I think it needs to get a little bit colder outside. I can barely see my breath. Yeah, it's fine. Good morning, my shores. Easy day now. It's four Tuesday, January seventh, two thousand fourteen. I'm Dugan. And I'm Nikki. Seniors, the Senior Celebration All Night Party cannot be missed. The registration forms for the event are available in the Counseling Office. Registration by the end of the year to receive a discount on admission. If you have questions or need fundraising opportunities, please see your guidance counselor. No seniors will be turned away who want to attend. Sign up today. BPA members, please attend a brief meeting either before or after school in Ms. Lawyer's room. Also, be sure to pick up a permission slip from Ms. Lawyer for this Saturday's BPA regional event. Tuesday is First Priority Club's New Year launch in Mrs. Edwards' room, hashtag 604. Meetings are during both lunches every week. All students are welcome. Financial aid meeting for seniors and their parents will be here at the high school tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the Media Center. GSA will be meeting once again after school in Mr. Jossie's room on Wednesday, January 15th. New members are always encouraged. Help spread awareness and the message of equality by attending. This is Sailor Country and we do everything with pride. I'm John. After a tight first quarter, Mona Shore is opened up with a lead with tenacious defense in the second, third, and fourth quarters, outscoring a deep and well-coached Ludington team by 22 points. Leading the way for the Sailors was Jasmine Walker with 20 points, 11 rebounds, and 3 steals, and A.B. Gillings with 14 points and 2 steals. Jordan Walker knifed through pressure to steady the Sailors with 8 points, 3 assists, 7 rebounds, and 3 steals. The Mona Shores Junior Varsity Girls Basketball Team fell to the visiting Orioles from Ludington High School, 34-37. The Sailors jumped out to an early 11-6 lead at the end of the first quarter, but Ludington battled back to overtake the Lady Sailors, who only had seven available players by the end of the game. Shemar Tumblin led, with, led the way with 17 points, including 11 of 13 from the free throw line, six rebounds, and three steals. Raylan Sells added seven points along with eight rebounds and four blocks. Brooke Spears chipped in two points and five rebounds. Also contributing were Liz Doriot with four points, Bree Holtrop and Nana Kitchen, each with two. The wrestling team was busy over Christmas break, first competing in the Bill Trumpman Wrestling Memorial. The varsity turned in a fantastic performance, placing second out of 11 teams. Leading the way individually were Adam Plowski and Taylor McPhail taking first place. Scoring third place were Blake Finney, Simon Carl, Nick Brown, and Mike Bordeaux. Also placing in fourth was Sean Helverson. However, everyone contributed team points, and it was a comp uh, complete effort as your sailors rolled to second place. Fantastic job, guys. The wrestling team stayed busy during break and traveled to the Granville Margin Tate Wrestling Tournament, turning in winning performances for the JV where Eli Bowers going 4-0 and Devon Barton and Andrew Krominga going 2-1. On the varsity side, Taylor McPhail and Adam Plowski went undefeated. Good work, guys. Mona Shore's girls basketball team ended Grand Haven's 57-game winning streak tonight in a hard-fought victory at the Sailor Center. The Sailors played great team defense, getting stop after stop down the stretch. Jasmine Walker led the Sailors with 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists. Sarah Jones played great defense on Grand Haven's Taylor Kramer, holding her to one basket while she guarded her while adding 8 points. Jordan Walker had 9 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists. Kelsey Wolfus had 8 points, 5 rebounds, and a team-high 4 steals. Mona Shore's is 5-1. Varsity wrestlers finished the Christmas break competing at the Grand Haven Adam Provincial Inventational. The wrestlers finished strong, placing third as a team. Placing first for your sailors were Adam Pulowski and Taylor McPhail, who had dominating performances. A crew of sailors also grabbed third, Aaron Rakowski, Sean Helverson, Eli Bowers, and Simon Carl. Over the holiday break, the varsity hockey team won all three of their games, including capturing their sixth consecutive Conrad tournament. Before Christmas, Big Rapids came to town to be dominated by the sailors as they outshot the visiting team 50-14 on their way to a 4-1 victory. Scoring for the Sailors were Colin Robach, Alex Sturr, Nick Soto, and Ben Essenberg. The Sailors host the 25th annual Conrad Tournament at Elsie Walker Arena this past weekend. Friday night was also an OK Conference game as East Kentwood came to town. It was a hard-fought battle with the Sailors prevailing 5-4. Ben Essenberg scored two goals and assist. Nick Soto, Glenn Kastelik, and Nick Edlund also scored. Alex Sturr recorded four assists and Colin Robach had three with Dalton Lanier all adding one. The Sailors were up against the Mustangs of Portage Central in the championship game. 
Goaltender Timothy McLean recorded the team's fifth victory as special teams were huge in the Sailors' 4-2 win. Colin Robach and C.J. Myers scored power play goals, while Chandler Mancuso and Alex Sturt also tailed. Ben Esberg, Sam Cran, and Sawyer Jensen each had an assist. Leading the way in killing off six penalties, including a five-minute major, were Jonah Schaefer and Chandler Mancuso. Receiving alternate team honors were Corey Sander and Alex Sturt. Ben Esberg was the tournament MVP. The Sailors' next home game is tonight against Four Sills Northeastern at Lakeshore Sports Center. All students showing a student ID are admitted free. Go Sailors! The Sailors showed they are still a force to be reckoned with this Saturday. Mona Shore scored well and qualified second to a very good Zealand team. They would fall to Cedar Springs in the semifinal match 366-400. to Cedar Springs would go on to win the tournament by beating Fruitport in the final match. Shores was led by Dan Rabink, who was third in all-over individual score with 715 and made the events all-tournament team. Ben Romanello, Anthony Long, and Don Veer Singh all, and Gerardo Smith all contributed to a great performance. The Sailor girls put forth a great effort and continued to improve. Shores finished seventh overall. McKenna Birch had a great tournament, finishing third in individual scores, and made the all-tournament team for the event with 586. The JV wrestling team finished break at East Kentwood, turning in first place performances were Nico Jen, Blake Kramer, Mason Hall, and Logan Rector. Placing second were Lloyd Sierra Snows, Jordan Sells, and Kenny Biggies. Great job, everyone. Today in sports, the boys' freshman JV and varsity basketball teams traveled to Jenison, as well as the girls' JV and varsity. Today's weather is a high of 16 and a low of 8. That's all we have for you today, sailors.